What's the word, y'all? I think we can all agree that being a fan of a sports organization is extremely stressful. I low-key envy the people that follow the game of basketball, that love the game of the NBA, and don't have a favorite team. Because I just know their quality of life is so much better. Like, my favorite team, the Chicago Bulls, have been in a rebuild for, like, five years now. And you would think that since I knew going into these seasons after we traded Jimmy Butler, that was the start of the rebuild, you would think that I wouldn't be stressed at all. Because at the end of the day, losing games is good, right? Nah, it, I, was, I was still extremely stressed. So stressed that there was a period of time, I think two seasons ago, when my profile picture on Twitter was a picture of me with a paper bag over my head because I was ashamed to be a Bulls fan. I ain't walk back on my fandom, though. Don't think... Don't think that was the case. And now that we are better, now that we should be a playoff team, I can just imagine that this is about to be the most stressful season of my adult life. You know what I'm saying? Like when, when the Bulls were good, when the Derrick Rose era, I was like in high school. Like, of course I wanted to see them win, but I wasn't like crazy. <laughs> now, at 24 going on 25, if them boys right now, Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, Lonzo Ball, Nikola Vucevic, and Patrick Williams don't succeed, yeah, I'm going to be highly, highly stressed. But the reason I'm talking about that today is because I was browsing through Reddit um, late tonight and I saw this post. The creator of this post has so much karma. So much karma. Shout out to him. I mean, hey, he got me to talk about something today. So shout out to him. In the NBA, the 76ers was listed as the team with the most stressed fans. Oh, yeah. The, the, yeah, they conducted an entire study about the stress levels of each fan base. In order to conduct the research, BetUS pulled 100,000 tweets and forms for each team and ran them through a tool called 10, 10 Strength to determine the level of stress and relaxation. Tensions are high for sports fans when it comes to the biggest games in the league, and Reddit and Twitter are safe spaces for them to let off some steam, the website reads. Low-key, you could have contributed to this study and not even known it. Legitimately. I've made some Reddit posts, comments. I made a lot of Twitter posts and comments as a Bulls fan about my dismay. So low key, you could have been a part of this study, all right? I just thought this was just extremely, extremely interesting to see the ranking of the stress levels. And I want, I want to try to look at some of the top teams in the tournament. Why the heck are their fans stressed? And if this was conducted between um, the end of the playoffs and today, it makes a lot of sense that the 76ers are number one considering everything that's going on. I made an entire video about the 76ers uh, stress and stuff. You know what I'm saying? If you want to check that out. You got the Boston Celtics, which is interesting. I think, I think just in general, Celtics fans are just on edge, no matter what. I feel like in some videos, I've said something negative about a Celtics player or somebody in the front office, Danny Ainge negatively, and Celtics fans be coming in my throat. They just always on edge, it seems like. The Cavs is one that's interesting because for they've been, maybe they're stressed because if LeBron's not on their team, they don't, never mind. Um, Heat fans, makes sense. You went from the NBA Finals to the first round elimination. Clippers, yeah. I mean, the Clippers put a huge target on their back a few years ago when they teamed up and haven't fulfilled those, those big shoes. The Atlanta Hawks being here is kind of weird because I, I wouldn't expect them to be extremely stressed, especially after what they just went through as being a team that nobody expected to make a run, and then they made a run. The Pistons, the Suns are tied at 24%. O okay. I mean, I can I, again, it doesn't tell you exactly when they started to compile these tweets. Um, so I can see Suns fans being stressed during the NBA Finals if that's when things were going on. I don't really know. At the bottom, though, you I will link everything in the description if you want to take a deeper dive into this. At the bottom, though, do you want to guess what organization fans are the least stressed in the moment? It's the Bulls. What? I think we low-key stressed. All of us. Every single one of us that rep the black, red, and... The black and red. But, I mean, again... Um, this could partially be because the Bulls have been so bad for so long. I think a lot of Bulls fans are just like, what, <laughs> whatever happens, happens at this point. So we're not extremely stressed. And we're like on a tier of our own at 16%. And then the Spurs at 18%, Trailblazers, Pacers, Jazz. Just a very overall interesting study. I wish that they did something deeper than that. Where they picked what they deemed to be the most stressed tweet. Just the one. The one person that was the most stressed. But they also did the same thing for football. 
And I don't I don't know football, so I can tell you why the Rams would be stressed or the Saints would be stressed or why the Texans wouldn't be stressed. I couldn't tell you that, so my apologies. In the world of baseball, Mets fans, this White Sox. Well, I, I guess we have some expectations this year. Mets fans make sense right now because the Mets can't hit. Um, but that's for another video or another channel. Link is in the description. This Magic fan said you can't be stressed when you only feel numb. Magic fans are zen. All 12 of them. It, it's funny. It, not saying that I agree that it's only 12. Oh. Oh. Oh, hold on. One dude left. He ain't down. He went to the Windy City, baby. He's seeing red because he's a Vucevic state. I'd love to see it. 76 er fan said, I want to know who are the 70% that aren't stressed. Very valid point. And then a nice rebuttal. Sometimes, sometimes Reddit can be fun and it can be okay. A lot of times it's not. But that's 30% of tweets. We finished first in the East last year and 30% of our tweets were still stressed. That's incredible. He said, I can't imagine what the number was during the Fultz year. Yeah, yeah oh yeah that's that's kind of that's true i mean um somebody compiled an entire list <laughs> an entire list of why 76 er fans are stressed markel folks forgot how to shoot colangelo's bird i low-key forgot about that the shot they're referring to Kawhi leonard's shot um tobias harris six largest in history and al horford's contract six largest in history still crazy brett brown's coaching jimmy butler for josh richardson yeah that happened <laughs> Injuries in general, Brett Brown's coaching for the second town, Doc Rivers coaching, and Ben Simmons refusing to shoot. A lot of stressors in Philly fandom. And to think this is just basketball, they still have to worry about the Eagles too. I don't know anything about the Eagles. And somebody added number 11. Every time Embiid falls, our heart skips a beat. As you can see, the Trailblazers are 28th on the list, and that was surprising to some people. I think most of them are okay with the fact that Dame might be gone. So this is going to enjoy Dame. Why they still got him. If he leaves, it sucks. But he's a good career. Yeah, that, that's a very good point. Why be stressed over something like that when it just feels like it's inevitable? Anyway, I just thought this was interesting as a little one-off video. Will we do more stuff like this in the future? I don't really know. I'm just having a ball talking about hoops and things related to hoops. If you enjoyed it, leave it a like. And I'll put everything in the description for you to go check out these graphs and stuff too.